Right, girls? They don't seem very impressed. Small wins, we take small wins. They lead to big victories. Write that down. <laughs> Well, the rain came and the rain left. It's a beautiful morning. Eight tenths. A little more than we were hoping for, but it is what it is. At least it's windy. Maybe it'll dry it out a little bit. Going to feed Elmo. Going to church. And then going to see what we can get into this afternoon. Yeah. Clara, that'll do here. I just can't help it, Mom. I just, come on. <laughs> I just can't help it. It's just too tempting, isn't it, baby? <laughs> there we go. Did you sleep up an appetite? Huh? Huh, Waggly? <laughs> Sweet baby. Some people ask if, why don't we don't have a milk cow? We actually do have a milk cow. We have a Jersey. Her name is Stella. And we've had her several, gosh, six, at least five or six years. She was a gift, <laughs> a gift for me when I quit my corporate job. I always said I wanted a Jersey. Uh, and then one day she showed up on a trailer. I always had in mind the, um, you know, the fawn colored, big doe eyes. Um, she's not, she's Brindle with horns. Well, one and a half horns now, because half of one sloughed off, sloughed off, sloughed, whatever, came off. But she has been an amazing contribution to the farm. We've used her as a nurse cow. She's getting old now. Um, we're not, we didn't have her preg checked. I'm not sure that she got bred. Um, we weren't sure last year either, but then she had a calf. So we'll see. Regardless, she's been good to us and has raised several babies. <laughs> Um, when I say nurse cow, that means that when we've had orphan, orphan calves, we'll use her to, we'll use her milk and let the calves, um, either suck her or if there was a problem with that, we would milk her and feed the calf. So she's been good. She's pulled her weight here and she gets to stay here until she dies. And, uh, that doesn't always happen. <laughs> Ugh, it's punching it. Um, so anyway, yeah, we do not drink her milk. So she's dry right now, which, so she doesn't have a calf. Um, we weaned her calf. That's one that we are feeding out right now. Uh, the one with horns <laughs> that Lawrence has affectionately named Toro. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a funny looking little dude. Um, but anyway, so that's the only, the only thing that we used her for. And... What else? Chickens. Nope. We have a farm and we don't have chickens. Chickens aren't my thing. I love fresh eggs. I love getting them from other people, but I don't want to deal with having chickens. So, we don't have chickens. And that's that. I actually love mornings like this. It's brisk, sunny. Just feel alive. Hey girls. A little wet in there, isn't it? Yeah, buddy.
coffee this morning. And the silage, the silage wait begins. <laughs> I don't really mind this quiet time. It's just me this morning though. The puppies were both very muddy, so I decided to leave them at the house. Yeah. Especially Clara. She doesn't have understand personal space, but she wants to be up in my lap. Which honestly doesn't really matter because I'm filthy anyway. <laughs> with corn dust and mud. <laughs> Maybe a little manure. But anyway. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. On the hill. Oh mud. It's a slippery kind. Mudology. Um, it's not slicker than snot necessarily, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Come back here, Gate. It's slick. It's slick enough that, uh, that if I'm not careful, I can fall on my tail. There's Toro, I mentioned. <laughs> the kids actually named him Twinkles last year because he was born around Christmas, but Toro suits him better now. Yeah. It's gonna be a great, muddy, sunshiny day. Right, girls? They don't seem very impressed.
Thank you for getting the gate. Mommy appreciates it. <laughs> Roller coaster. A mule, a mule coaster. I don't know. Whatever. Roller coaster is fun. This is fun. This could be this could be disastrous. Can't have it to me, they're too heavy. Made it. Didn't fall. Alright girls, eat up. Lick up. <laughs> Sending him to check the minerals. See if we need to open all these gates and go in there. Which I bet we do. That's the bull lot. They're in there somewhere. Hopefully. Here comes Curious Panda. <laughs> hey, Panda. Hey, Panda. Hey, girl. <laughs> what are y'all doing? red here <laughs> okay um boot wash time <laughs> it works oh my gosh my boots are, no i'm gonna have to go find a hose because what we have here is a problem clear <laughs> golly i'm right into that no yours are good what is that teamwork good job what y'all doing? You feel pretty, pretty important out there. <laughs> There's something about a mound of dirt, isn't it? With a cow or a calf. We all want to be on top. Bye, babies. Are you going with us? Mornings are always <laughs> fun, a rush, because the kids have their homeschool co-op and trying to get them out the door, get the calves fed before we go, get the lunches fixed. If a child needs a bath, get that done, because they didn't get it done the night before. That's where we're at this morning. Crunch time. Everybody's ready, ready and waiting. You ready for breakfast? Hey, Toro. <laughs> I see you. Morning, bulls. <gasps> Panda, what are you doing over there? Come get your breakfast. Enjoy. Mmm, mud. It actually.
actually dried up a pretty good amount from yesterday. That's good. Got a lot of wind and a lot of sunshine, which helps. Almost done feeding now. He's got to go over to the place where we have our corn in that bin. It's 15 or 20 miles away. He's got to get more corn and bring it back here because we're out. And um, I'm not sure what else today. It's already been a Monday to beat Mondays though. Just <laughs> forgot, forgot what I was doing this morning, where I was going. Kids were late. I had to drop something off, got stopped by a train. Forgot I had a doctor's appointment. Missed it. One of them days. One of them days. One handed. Not always easy. Toro. Can you tell he was a bottle baby? <laughs> Can you tell he was a bottle baby? Yeah. And I was wrong yesterday. I said that his name was Twinkles. It wasn't Twinkles. I was thinking of a calf from two years ago that was Starlight. My kids corrected me. His name was actually Buffalo because when he was born, he looked like a buffalo. I'll try to find a picture. Anyway, his name is now Toro. <laughs> All right. Right, buddy? Yeah. And the tractor shuffle goes on. Come on, buddy. Gonna move some stuff around. Farm Uber at it again. Get in, baby. Moving the baby tractor. <laughs> I gotta crank this up there. It's gonna require two hands. Okay, I'm officially out of breath. I'm cranking that thing all the way up there. Oh, I did it. Out of shape, I'm out of shape. All right, some more first gen love for some of y'all that like it. <laughs> All right, so since our dump truck is full, it's got soybeans in it, and we still gotta get sold, he's gonna have to take the dump wagon to get corn and bring it back and put it in the bin. So, we gotta, we gotta take the stuff off of this truck so we can use it to pull the trailer. Okay, not to brag, but maybe to brag, I just guided those forks in there perfect, okay? Didn't mess up the bed in the truck. Got them out. First go, I'm learning my signals. I got this, y'all. Woohoo! Small wins, we take small wins. They lead to big victories. Write that down. Bonnie's getting some exercise. <laughs> she needs to run some. You need to run and not ride all the time. I know, I knew too, but I hate running. I prefer not to run unless something's chasing me and I have to. No, not a runner. Mm -mm. Cranking that uh, auger up there, when I got done, I felt like I'd been running. <laughs> My chest felt like I'd been running. Oh, farm fit. That's all I am is farm fit. And it's not always fit enough. And I thought I was done. Ubering, but evidently not. <gasps> oh. I've got an hour before I have to leave and go run errands before I pick up the kids, and probably three hours work of worth of work to do before I leave. Who can relate? Never enough hours in a day. Never. Okay, back to the house. Back to the house to see what we can get done, Bonnie, before we have to leave again. Bonnie said she was done running. She was just gonna ride from here on out. Today, anyway. Hey, right, girl? <laughs> okay. Come on, Bonnie. 
to go get you some water. Some water? Come on. Yep, that's where I'm going. Nope. Change my mind. Here's a good girl. What you been digging? You been digging something? I see it on your nose. Tent anyone? Oh my gosh, y'all, this porch. It's uh it's wood stove season. Which means it's wood and dirt and mud all up in the house season as well. Oh well. Boots, mud, wood, barking dogs. Welcome to my world. Going on a little sunset walk. What did you want to go do? See the horses. She wanted to go see the horses and they were up here at the water, so maybe they still are. Well, that works well. Gus, Clara, that'll do here. Clara. They're they're bringing them to us. Okay, baby. Gus. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just hold this little cow dog <laughs> and let her pet the horses without them running around like wild wild things because little dogs just can't can't handle it and think they have to herd everything. You don't have to herd everything. Yes, I do, mommy. Yes, I do. Bonnie, you're you're not out of this. You were um you were part of that problem too. You know that? No, Mommy, I just got wrapped up. I just got wrapped up with the mother dogs. They made me do it. <laughs> oh. And time to jump the backhoe again. <laughs> oh, boy. This mud is its worse today. It's not drying up very fast. Maybe it will today. It's supposed to be like 60, 62 or something crazy warm and sunny, so maybe it'll dry some of this mud up. It's really not fun. <laughs> Farming mud is not fun. That's a good sound. You can see silage is slowly getting gone. <laughs> That's definitely proper English, if you didn't know. Getting gone. Yeah. Some days, it just feels like I'm being watched. <laughs> hey, girls. I'm the, I'm not only the gate boss right now, I'm, well, I'm the gate boss, I'm the gatekeeper. And I can't let you through here until that silage wagon is done. Understood? Okay. Just so we're on the same page. We don't have a trough in this lot, but he was just telling me that we'll probably put one in here soon and we're gonna add a wire gap up here. Put some posts in and add a wire gap where it'll be easier to get in there and feed them. Cause there's one gate on the very end that would be hard to get to and there's a gate over there <laughs> that would be hard to get into. So I guess we'll be doing that. They have just a titch, is that a word? It is now, a titch of hay. I mean grass left and we're gonna have to start feeding them hay shortly. Mm -hmm. 